Welcome to another week of the Buffalo Game Space Podcast. I'm a host, Greg Giles. John Fletcher. Tom Loki. Pat Kesterson. <laughs> yeah, everybody's uh, names. <laughs> this is a low energy podcast. It's been a long week for a lot of us. Yeah, it has <sighs> been a long week because some of us have been in the dark tombs of of souls. Karth- this, what is it? Yeah, Carthus is yeah. one of them. Yeah, <laughs> he, I think you say that like Carthus is like somebody's acting like he doesn't know exactly what it is. Um, <laughs> you guy. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, we talked extensively last time about the fact that I've finally played some video games, and Dark Souls Three is one of them. Yeah, and so since then and now, I've played it a bunch more. Not like an insane amount, but enough to get <laughs> more under my belt and flesh out my thoughts on it a little bit more. I want to be and, clear here: I played a bunch, not an insane <laughs> amount. <laughs> What is, are... what is the difference? <laughs> yeah. but I guess. An insane amount would be like if I played for like 30 hours over the past week. I probably played for like, I don't know, another, that sounds another four or five over the but course of like... But you're tearing through this game. Donculus. So there's parts of it. So there's two reasons for that, and I think I mentioned it last time, is that one of them is that I've been playing it with a buddy of mine when I can. When, right. When we're both on, like, we'll jump in the, the world together. Last time I was talking about how that was, like, that was really cool, but it was also broken, and, like, we couldn't connect. Right, right. In this past week, it's been actually been working. Yeah. So that's, or at least that's a little bit better. One of the Where things that the I song? did bring up last time was that I don't know how I'm going to react to this, but the invasion mechanic being the game, and, like, now I've been invaded, like, a dozen times. Yeah. And it's stupid. <laughs> it's just it's just a stupid thing that just derails you. And and I really just think the only reason it exists is to placate a certain subset of players that get off on fucking with other people. I, and that's purely it. Like I don't think it really brings anything else to the table other no. than that it it allows those people to do their thing where they get to assert dominance on other people and then just like fuck with their game and then but would you you said yourself i think last time you and your buddy were saying it's like well he said it this is like cheating when you guys were co-oping right yeah so when you're co-oping yeah we in the sense that the game is a lot easier with two people just the bottom line right like the game is easier with two people it's easier to make progress you make progress faster especially when one of the people already knows like the layout a little right. bit being the game like three times yeah if they've already played through the game they kind of know they know a lot more about the game and they also what i would appreciate it because not to get completely off track i'm going to come back to the other side but i appreciate playing with somebody else beyond the fact that co-op is fun but also somebody who has played the game a couple of times and knows a lot about the lore and all that kind of stuff because this game is super obscure in the sense that it just barely tells you anything about what's happening and With the exception of, there's a guy in the temple that I hadn't really talked to, and I went over and I talked to him, and he's just dropping stories. Like, he's just telling you stories about, these are the deacons in the deep, and this is what happened with this guy, and he started eating people, and then this happened. He just straight up tells you the story. Like, this all obscure, like, knowledge that you're trying to, like, piece together the world and thing, and this dude just straight up gives it to you fuck, right down the you middle. You talk about the Crestfallen and, Warrior and Firelink. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. He okay. just tells you what happened. Like, straight up. This is the this is the lore. This is what happened here. And he just gives it to you straight. And so, that kind of fleshes it out. But, since it is such a kind of, you know, a game that you learn about the history and what's going on in the world through kind of experiencing and finding weird little things and looking into it more and talking to people like that guy, it takes a lot of time to build this up. So, playing with somebody who knows the lay of the land and knows the stuff, it's almost like I don't want to say tour guide, but it's almost no, like that's exactly as, we, as we play through the game, he'll be like, check this shit out. Yeah. This is about like this other thing that's tied to this other crazy <laughs> thing. And if you look over here, you can see that area that we cleared like an hour ago. Like, yeah. You see it off in the distance. Like it's over there behind the trees or whatever. It's like, oh shit. And so it's like, it's really cool because in that sense, you know, it's a lot of fun to play my buddy here, but also it respects my time a little bit in the sense that now I don't have to wait 40 hours to get that appreciation. This is why I Somebody else kind of helps good like, that you're co-oping is because like at first I was kind of like, Oh, I was just going to co-op it. And then cause I felt like you get like, it's a better experience to play alone. But for you who just flat out really just does not have the time. I think this is really the best way for you to play it because you can get that depth and somebody can kind of connect the dots for you, but you're still playing it. Right. You're just kind of getting like, 
yeah, I think it's the best way for you for sure. And I've still played plenty of the game. Yeah. So if I had yourself. to guess, if I had to guess, I'd probably say I've played half of my time has at least half of my time has been solo. Yeah. And the other half of the time, so it's it's a pretty even split. I just like, wanted to make more. sure you got that like I'm in a new place. Oh fuck, kind of feeling like right. So. Uh, I made a comment about this the other day. This is one thing that this game does all the time, and I think it's it's already lost. It lost its effect on me like a uh, second time it happened. Is that the game constantly and consistently hides enemies right around the corner of a doorway? Um, <laughs> so like the second you clear a corner, if you don't like look right to your left or right, like there's a dude there like yeah. all the time, like yeah. all the time. The first time you go through a doorway and some dude jumps out from the side, you're like, oh shit. And the second time it's like, oh they did that again. And the third time it's like, this is annoying. It's like, because then it's like, all right, you're making me do work because the camera doesn't work good enough to easily see everything all the time. And the lock on mechanic does not lock around corners properly, like ever. So you can like swing around you like I see the dude standing there just waiting for me to walk through the door. I can't lock on him. I can't do anything. The only thing you can do is just like dive through the doorway. Yeah, because it seems like a ray cast from your character rather than it being of like, is it on screen? Yeah, is, is it, it visible? Screen? It's yeah. what it is. Yeah, it seems like it's a ray cast from. So like if right. you're your line of sight from your character, even though you can see it from the camera, if your character where he literally is. And can- even if your character can see it line of sight, if it's not like down the middle, yeah. if it's like the edge of your character, right, yeah. it's, it just won't lock on. Yeah. And then it's like, well, then there's nothing. If you can't lock on the thing, you can't, like, come around the corner and attack them directly unless you just got to try to jam it and, like, do unlocked on combat, which is really I usually wonky. put a foot in and roll roll back. I'm, like, trying to draw them back yeah. into the hallway. Yeah. And so I was just like, yeah, well, they did that, I guess. Whatever. Not a huge complaint. And I, I guess they're trying to make you be careful as you go through these things. But it's just like, uh, I feel like it would have been better used and it would feel more interesting if it was like more few and far between where it allowed you to get a little bit like sense of safety where you just then it happened again yeah it happens so much that it's now it's just like when it does happen i'm never like oh they got me good design guys it's always just like god damn it again yeah yeah like really really guys it's like i saw them i just couldn't i (laughs) didn't have the mechanics in place to easily engage with them right now so that's kind of annoying um so back to invasions right so my (laughs) my my point about invasions was well I mean, you tend to get invaded when there's more than when you're playing with somebody else. Um, and I think you have to be embered. So you do have to be embered to play co-op or get invaded. So but you also need to be embered to see certain things in the world. And there's also NPCs you can call into your world that you can get items off of or like flesh out certain areas like that you interact so with. And you have to be embered to do that. So too. when you're embered, you get a pretty huge boost. So I, so isn't it a bit fair that you could be invaded when you're getting a, a boost like that? I mean, you get a bump in health, you get but, a bump in health and but, you can summon, uh, other people or NPCs. Potentially, but I mean, I don't think it's to the point where, so here's, I guess it's not so much that, cause here's the other thing you can be invaded by NPCs, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so, so it's not just other players. You could, it could say like, you've been invaded by like knight so-and-so from what's if futs <laughs> yeah. and he comes it's usually somebody you've seen it, around. Yeah. Before, it's something yeah. crazy and they come flying into your world and they chase you down and you get in a fight with them and yeah. those fights can be pretty cool. Yeah. And they'd usually drop some cool loot yeah. and they're worth like experience and stuff. And that feels like it's part of the game. Yeah. And they're not easy fights usually. No, and so, and so, you, so again, you're embered when they happen. They don't happen when you're not embered. Yeah. And they feel like they're part of the world and they're part of the game and part of the thing. And I'm okay with NPC invasion. I think it adds something to it a little bit. Yeah. Um, like PVP invasion, I just think is stupid. But because when you're co-oping with your friend, it's like so easy that it's like not we've even lost, challenging. We've lost to people. Yeah. Two on one. Right, so it's like it balances the game back out. No, the game. I wouldn't say the game. Like we've died many times just playing the level, like yeah. not even being invaded. Like I don't think the the advantage of being embered in co op is so much that you need to introduce the ability for trolls to screw with you. Yeah. Um. Because what had happened was a bunch of times, and this has happened to me solo as well. It's way more frustrating solo. In co op, we've had like once or twice this has happened where like somebody invaded us. And I've been like, yo, just hide over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, then yeah, like, yeah, just yeah, hide yeah. over there. And the dude comes after me, and then, like, 
and you know, a couple of times it's like he tried to hide like ah shit he saw me too he yeah, like yeah, he knows yeah. there's two of us in there but like it's nice when you kind of start the fight and then like somebody else jumps in they, you can see in the other guys like oh shit yeah totally and, yeah. i do that with my friends too yeah it's really funny but it so that's funny but also i just i feel like the pvp combat in the game is just the least interesting thing about it like everybody just rolls around constantly you can kill the crap out of somebody and then they just start dive spamming roll everywhere and then they heal themselves and then it's back into that and it's, a, it's a total war of attrition and it's usually either over in two seconds or it's just just an obnoxious frustrating thing and unless if you want if you don't want to sit there and fight them for 15 minutes you gotta let them kill you because you can't save and you can't do anything else until it's over like you it, it doesn't allow you to warp out of the area it doesn't allow you to save you like you know do anything you can't progress the game is once somebody invades you it locks you and you're just like now you got to deal with this and yeah it they, it's they, really they annoying shut off exits and stuff even so yeah they fog over the the doorways so you can't go anywhere you can't do anything yeah. else yeah so it's it just shuts your game down until you deal with this yeah and if the person wants to be a jerk they can just be like staying off way in the distance like waving at you and then they can come flying and i had one fight this dude is just spamming dive roll all around me and i'm attacking the crap out of him i'm doing a decent amount of damage but i'm just like what the hell and so he starts hitting me and it's kind of like a back and forth i was like this is kind of lame like as far as like Especially when you put it up against like games that have like really good, solid like PvP mechanics, where like there's a lot more like ebb and flow to the battle. I feel like this is just like spam attack, dive roll, dive roll, spam attack, dive roll, dive roll, and it's like there's no strategy to it like at all. And then somebody who has more health or more Estus wins, except when somebody's just out levels you and they have way better gear. So what's happened with this dude? We're kind of having a back and forth fight, and at one point I just see him just switch weapon and he one hits me, <laughs> and I was just yeah. like. Wow, this is stupid. Yeah. What does this add? Oh, I see what it adds. There's a type of player that gets off on this, and Dark Souls caters to that type of player. That's why it's here. I mean, it's a pretty clever way to handle that style of player, though, even if you don't like... But that just... It push, get, that seems... If I can interject real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, not saying it's the exact same thing, but Watch Dogs, actually, back years ago, had a similar mechanic. That you could actually just shut off, which I did. <laughs> and it was literally... It, that was... On paper, it sounds cool. In practice, it just seems to shove that issue, if that's the case, off to the player base. And then just roll the dice that everything works out for the best. Wait, so what? Do you, how does it work in Watch Dogs? Same exact thing. Like, literally, they can just you, invade your world Yeah, like they that? would basically hack in and you, you'd have to... The, uh, that's wait. a... Huh. The way I didn't it know any of that was. I didn't know that was in there at all. That's because most people just turned it off. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it was an option in Dark Souls, I'd turn it off. It, I was instantly. immediate. The it first is, thing though. that I would do. Just, just don't ember. Yeah, yeah, but the thing but is, then you can't co-op, and then you can't interact with all these other NPCs, and like have like NPC invasions, which are part of kind of like the levels in the story in their own right, because there's certain signs that always appear in certain locations. I, yeah. And I mean, like you're, 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 you're cutting right. off a part of the game for. Basically, basically, what they did was they came up with a way to entice you to allow other people to fuck with you because they <laughs> wanted to cater to the people that want to fuck with other people, and that's and that's not necessarily a bad design decision because those people exist and those people need games to play too. And if your game does that right for them, they'll play your game, right? And if if that's the target you're going for and you're trying to target all these other people, then by all means, try to come up with a way to integrate them. I'm just saying, personally, as a player and my play style, I find it obnoxious at best and breaking the game to be like. When I see like, especially it's like at the end of the night, ready to be done, and it's like you've been invaded. It's like I, now I can't even just quit. Yeah. It's like what? No, I'm just gonna <laughs> pull the plug on my freaking console and, and go to bed. This is nonsense. Just roll off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like this is stupid. Like especially when it locks you into something like that. It's like I got stuff to do. I can't be. Just, you know, yeah. I can't be locked into this game to play another hour with this guy. I yeah. gotta go. Did you, and so it's going to punish me or whatever if well, I try to just, like, there's peace also, out. And there's also, and there is, a, uh, I guess, one countermeasure you can take. Uh, real quick, though, did you have more to say about... Uh, I mean, just to kind of tie it off, like, I mean, we pretty much said, like, that when Watch Dogs, like, you could do it. It was, like, kind of a multiplayer function, but at the same time, too, you could also, like... It wasn't necessary for anything. It was just something that you could do, and if you turned it off, it wouldn't really add or take away from the game. Like, the game makes you do it once just to, like, introduce the concept, and yeah. then you can move on with your life. Um, it just sounds like in this one, would you rather just have the AIs invade, 
or more oh, yeah. players. I don't even think that I would want to turn off the AI invasion because they're kind of almost scripted. Like, yeah, they, they, they happen at certain areas. Thematic. Yeah, they happen at certain areas for a reason. So yeah. it's almost like another boss spawning. Yeah, but it happens like in the middle of something, and you can kind of fight them anywhere. Like yeah. it's it, not like it's just in a boss room. You know, it, that just sounds to me like the game's just trying to extend something that, in some cases, doesn't need to be extended, uh, or like. Yeah, I mean, I guess back to my you, other point. Like, there's types of players that this go that this that want this, right? They're like, "What's the point of building up my character if I can't kick somebody else's ass with yeah. it?" And those people exist, and they want a PvP in this game. And I couldn't find anything more boring. <laughs> the PvP against other people I just in this wish, game I just, just I seems I like really so it. really just I guess not that the just point. Sounds to like me. There, which there was an option that you could either turn it off and then like it would just make up for it with more AI battles. And like just kind of fill in the gap or make the AI battles harder or something just to like well, yeah the AI you're is, not getting players but yeah. like the AI is plenty hard like but, yeah. the AI is fucking pretty good <laughs> yeah. okay well I mean you yeah. still maybe not boost it but just like to make up for something that like less if for your particular play type less trolling and more you could just you. go offline yeah I suppose, but then you can't. Again, then you can't co-op. You can't do like all these other cool things. And you that the lose game all has. the notes, all the all the other notes other players leave, which I love reading for right. some reason. I don't which know, is like it is That's an interesting cool. thing. Yeah. Although people use that to troll too, and people seem to be obsessed with try tongue butthole. Yeah, yeah, people obsessed with buttholes. Yeah, b u t h o l e. They like spread it out and put it into something, and like <laughs> it's so it's not like doesn't just say butthole. They yeah. try to, like they try to cleverly put it into something else, and it's never clever. It's, it's, it's just, always <laughs> before it, you just walk up. To a thing, and you'll see a note, and you'll look at the. It, it's like a guy hanging over a banister. You're like, "There's gonna be a butthole." On it. <laughs> yeah, it was a butthole. One. I don't know why. I did it. Uh, so, yeah, that's people, actually kind of funny, though. Like, that's, and, and that's they don't, fine, and they don't affect anything. That's, right? yeah, like that's the fact that you stupid. read the note or not. But yeah. like sometimes, really, people leave like really like some people like. There's an illusory wall here, and then you hit the wall, and it is one. They're like, "Hey, good note, dude." Or maybe I wouldn't have looked. But then there's people that use that to troll. That's like, like two out of ten times it's yeah, actually Almost yeah. all of them is like, you'll see a thing like, illusory, illusory wall ahead and just like a hallway. And there isn't one there. They're just, they're just trolling. You just attack a wall for a minute them. and you're like, yeah, I knew there wasn't one. But like, <laughs> I'm not, I didn't fall for it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. checking. Yeah. Um, but there's a, a covenant you can join the blue sentinels. And if you equip, if you uh, equip that badge thing or whatever every time somebody invades you it summons two other players to defend you so it'll be three on one so what if you already had two i'm not crazy i don't really bother with it what like what if you already had a co-op game then if it summoned would it summon two more players uh it might so there'd be four on one (laughs) yeah surprise motherfucker also (laughs) blue sentinel oh Oh, oh shit, just good. bring in more, like, Six multiply it. <laughs> you walked into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> and just have them all just, like, chilling just off outside the range of a door. You just, you're like, just, like, standing there, just, like, walk in. Like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, well, the other thing that people do when they invade, so they, and the invasion happens mid-game. You're playing the game. You're in the middle of a world. And I've had multiple people do this, and this happened with uh, when I was playing with my buddy the other night. Somebody invaded us. We're like, ah, oh, damn it, because we're trying to just do stuff and have fun. Yeah. And now we got to deal with this crap. Yeah. And the dude comes in and he's like pointing at us and waving at us from a doorway and he's diving roll. It's like just way off in the distance. And my buddy's just like, he's just trying to get us to go out there because there's tons of enemies over there. Yeah. He's like, there's. He's just trying to draw us into a. And they room won't attack the, him. He's like, they're just gonna. Yeah. He's just trying to draw us in a room that's there's tons really? of enemies. Really, the enemies like, won't attack him either. Uh, there's a way you can make it happen, but as a general rule, no. That, yeah. that's so kinda... they can fight you in the middle of enemies, and no enemy will attack them. Yeah, that's so he's trying to. Yeah, so he's just trying to draw us into an area where there's like crazy enemies that'll kill us if we try to like engage him. And he's like, "No, don't go in there." He's just trying to draw us out there. So then it leads to this stupid stalemate where it's like this guy just won't give up on his thing, and we're just like waving at him like no dude we're not coming because <laughs> you can't talk to the people either yeah and so he's just like making gestures like i'm sitting on the ground toasting this guy <laughs> <laughs> and like he's just sitting in the doorway and like he won't come in and then eventually he gave up and he finally came in and we fought him and, and killed him but it was just like really, ugh, this is a waste know, of time yeah, this is a waste focus, of time right? and that game yeah. requires a lot of focus so if there's just some fucking asshole in there just running around doing who knows what it's like yeah i it it I don't, I don't, I, 
I don't like it either, really. Yeah. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is I get why it's there when you talk about like the types of players that exist, but it'd be great if it just cannot be that way. So anyway, that's enough. That's all I'll say on that. I'll just bring it. I'll close it out in the sense that I've, having played more and more of the game, uh, the environmental design in the game is gorgeous. Like they have some. There's some areas that are muddy and like the color palette kind of sucks. They stick with a lot of really dark greens and browns like everywhere. There's some areas I think are pretty uninspired. Right, but, but then there's other areas that kind of almost stand out by contrast. Yeah. Um, there's other areas that actually look really nice. Yeah. Well, especially the area I just got to, like the Boreal Valley. Like It's like this kind of like snow-laden like That's, that's the crested, best example like, of walking out of a place that was really uninspired into the most inspired place. Yeah. So it yeah, hits this you big even castle. And you're like up on this high bridge. You can yeah. see like all the way across and there's like this big castle kind of like in the mountains and you're going towards it and it's off in the distance and it it's looks like snow really falling really and like Aurora good. Borealis in the sky, and yeah. like the sky boxes are beautiful. And I was like, it actually oh. sounds like this actually nice. looks really cool. Like this is actually a cool area. That's the last thing I got to. I just got there. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, there's a and the way that it handles like save points and like the level design. Basically, the game is constantly forcing you to replay areas over and over again. But when you make enough progress in certain spots, the game is littered with doors that open from one side, basically. And so once you've made enough progress, you pop a door open, and now you have a shortcut. So you pop that open, you're back to the same save place that you had before, but now you can go right back to where you were. And so basically it kind of like just keeps letting you explore a little bit farther and then get a shortcut back to where you were, then a little bit farther than that, shortcut back to that same spot. So you could have the same save zone that actually covers like four areas of the game and it's got all the same save spot yeah and it's, it's, and it's it's kind of cool in that that they really get the most out of the architecture that they put into the game um which i guess they kind of have to when they make you replay the areas as much as they kind of do um but i like the way that they kind of lay that out and the you know that i mentioned when people pointed out that the map itself is kind of you know, a whole it's a it's a cohesive whole that like you can look back and see zones that you were in before that you could see like where you're like, Oh, when I started the game, I was up on this mountain. And if you looked down, you could see this bridge and like this other area and like, and that's where I am now. Like, you know, like it's all tied together. It's stuff that in um, other games would not be a place. It would just kind of be filler, but like in dark souls, it's content. It's weird. Right. And I don't even, and I don't believe it's all like rendered and whatever, like the sky boxes in certain areas are just kind of like pictures of places that you're going to go that yeah. look exactly like they look when you get there. Right. But they're not like, it's not like they're rendering of an infinite camera distance because no. that would just crush the game. No, so they, so they basically right. just put thought into like in this area, you'd be able to see over here and over here. And they, they created like the background to look like the right thing yeah, and yeah. to tie the world together. So it's an interesting thing. And I like, I really like that. They did a good job with that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll keep playing, but that's kind of my, my update from last week after I kind of thrashed a lot of their archaic, uh, design decisions, uh, which I, sta which, which having played the game more, I stand by all of that, <laughs> the, the UI and the grenades and the arrows and all that stuff are all still junk. Yeah. But, <laughs> but the other stuff is definitely is cool. And, you know, I've, I've fought some fun boss stuff and some cool areas. I think games for me, the game is more about like exploring the game at this point. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I like about it. For, yeah. Yeah. So that's dark souls. <laughs> cool. Well, weekly update. <laughs> looking forward to see uh, what else you get out of it. You're like I said, you're you're hauling ass. You're like you're you're getting fairly close to the end. You're not like really? right at the end or anything, but um, I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'm misremembering. Well, I think there's a bunch of DLC coming out. Oh too, no, you sure. got. Now there's another zone. And there's DLC coming out. Yeah, uh, next month. Speaking of DLC, isn't there some Fallout stuff still coming out? There oh, is. Nickel World dropped and maybe that happened. two, three weeks ago? I think it was like two weeks ago. DLC? Yeah, the Nickel World. It's yeah, like they're just cranking they're, it out, though. Yeah, it's their final one, though. Yeah. I mean, the last ones were just kind of like updates for... Um, just like your house and shit. Like, yeah. Hey, you can put mannequins and cool signs. You can spell like fuck you on the side of your house with like cool 50 style lettering. <laughs> Neon signs. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was all right. And then this one came out and it's like this big, like it's basically like Disney world kind of like Hershey town or whatever the hell it is. In Hershey, Park. Hershey Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's basically supposed to be like that, but I don't know. 
I started up and I listened to the radio on the Pip Boy, and they're like, "Hey, come to Nuke World." I'm like, "All right," and I like walked like ten feet, and I was like, "You know what? I don't feel like it." <laughs> <laughs> so that's just you know, like a day to day thing. Like I should do this, get out of bed. I know it feels or like, or I could not. Feels like a chore. Like I don't. I'm, I'm just not inspired to do it. Yeah, and I mean it's like this huge Raider thing. I watched some guy do the Let's Play of like the beginning. And you do like, you think that colored your? desire to go play it if you didn't watch the let's play would you be more well, I, I was to go? after i was like nah i don't want to play it and then he the one of the main guys i watched he put one out so i was like oh it's kind of like i'm playing it vicariously no, it's, not. <laughs> it's, it's, that. But it's like it's like a gauntlet thing so you, did you ever go through that parking garage where there's like all those like trap doors and mm-hmm. like missile launchers and shit it's like that in the beginning and then i don't know how deep i want to go to spoil it i guess but basically you beat that and you beat some guy at the end, and then you're, like, the king of the raiders. So you don't actually get to, like, run through and kill everybody because you're trying to, like, get all the gangs together and make them all love you. And I was like... You're trying, trying to be like Cyrus? Yeah. And the Warriors? Huh. Yeah. There's a but reference. But I, I don't dig it. That's <laughs> can the you, problem. Can you dig it, though? I don't <laughs> dig it. <laughs> I want to go through there and massacre everybody, I refuse but I can't to dig now. It. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't know. What if you put bottles on all your fingers <laughs> and just says just warriors from bottles. a car? If that's not in there, that would be great. But um, Raiders. I Come played a little more No play. Man's Sky. I'm like the last person to keep going on that. I still, cr- still figured out that star cruising. system because I was like looking at the stars and there's like four different colors and I was like, there's got to be something there. And it's like yellow's the most ordinary. They're like most likely to have dead planets and then red's cooler yellow's a little cooler than that and blue's the coolest you said yellow twice did i yeah Yeah. it's yellow oh it's probably is yellow red green blue i did test your theory i booted it up real quick you are correct in this yeah but it's just so hard to find the hyperdrive upgrades i found one and it was like in another ship and it's like this ugly ass ship and i was like i don't want this ship (laughs) <laughs> and then I did this thing where it's like you can have like these little There's robot ship. things I don't want like this it, shit. <laughs> they're like these little robot things are gonna try and invade your body and you can choose to have them do it or not. And then I did it and then like it gave me a hyperdrive upgrade anyway. How does like, that work? Sweet. Are we still talking about Fallout? <laughs> no, we're talking about No Man's Sky now. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm the okay. So you got nanobots. Yeah, I got nanobots. Your Man, also if I Fallout was... went into space. We've been there. <laughs> It would be the same. <laughs> but uh, there's this really weird interaction I had. There's this, uh, the Viking, they're like the warrior race. And I like walked into a, like a space station. And this guy's like, you know how they do those little text boxes and then you just read it. And he's like, the alien has this sultry look on his face as he looks at this picture of this alien that looks right what... for breeding or something. <laughs> I, was like, I know I... what interaction you had because it happened to me. Really? Yep. But uh, I'm looking at it, and it's like, you can accept, decline, or there's like a accept special one. Accept decline what? I, don't, yeah. I didn't know at the time. And That's then there's the a special This alien's one. looking at a picture. Accept what? There's a, there's a special like it. interaction if you're friends with them. And like as soon as I rolled into that galaxy, there's like this huge space battle, and I killed all the guys. And they're like, I can like you now. And I was like, all right. And then I got the special thing, so I was like, cool. And so what happened? Like, Did you you're The next box b- pops up and it says, you've tucked the picture of the creature you'll soon marry into your pocket. Yep. And, and I was like, oh. Because you accepted? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, shit. It's like his daughter or something. But, what? I don't know. Wait. Yeah, so I'm going to be banging some ugly He was looking check. at a picture of his daughter... With a sultry look it on It said his sultry, face. yeah. That's, that's what's like and green mostly. And she was ripe for breeding? Well, the picture something was like that. sultry, maybe. I don't yeah. know. This is He's tough out of But he was like crying or something. I don't know. It was weird. I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I Dude, just gotta I get out of this. this girl. Well, this is just Sorry. a very it's too late. odd interaction to like put to you in a game, right? Where it's just like... It, 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 a guy it, is sitting like wistfully looking at the sky. Except? Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, if, it's, you can't... And... I guess almost partially, like, Dark Souls does this every once in a while, where it's just, like, somebody... And it seems like the answer in Dark Souls is always to just accept. Like, it... And it just does this all the time. That's generally where, true. There's one exception. Uh, did you... Have you been talking to Anri? Uh, I've met her. Yeah. Did we go back and into Dark Souls? Yeah. yeah. I looked down for a second. <laughs> no, we're just talking about... What I was bringing up is anytime a game gives you a, a decision to make, and the game does not give you... 
the information required to make an informed decision based on it, even a little bit. It's not even like, oh, this is a great choice. You don't really know. It's like, no, this is obtuse and has it has given you zero cues. It mm-hmm. just says pick A or B, and it doesn't tell. It's like, it's, how could it's I possibly? possibly it's, it's like you walk into a room and there's a button on two buttons on the table, and it says pick A or B. <laughs> it's mostly my fault because I, I skim like I mean it's well written but it's like why can't you just talk to me? well that particular <laughs> one like he talked for me but I hadn't really translated anything yet and basically when the game says blah 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 like explaining that's the game trying to make up for you not knowing what the fuck they're saying mm. so it's like it's basically the character's observations and then you have to glean from that instead of actually getting the words but Deus Ex does that shit too where it's like hey I have a mission for you do you want to accept? Nah, I'm good. I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to do that. Yeah. No, no, fucking accept. Yeah, like, no. I, you're totally right. Well, at least they even... So there's one in Deus Ex that I remember specifically when you first meet the gangster. And you meet the gangster guy. Yeah. And if you got, like, the social thing, you can kind of read him. And he's not hard to read to begin with. Because they even start... There's a little scene when you're walking in and you hear him talking to one of his cronies. And he kind of lets it lays down his philosophy. And yeah. you, can, you can base your decisions based on that even if you don't have the social cues. But it, the game plays to that. If you make... If you speak in that way, it he, like, likes you. and he'll, But then he's like, yeah, I'll give you the thing. But yeah, it's not for free. So you're just gonna have to do me a favor later, and you can you can be like, well, I'm not just gonna say I'm gonna do your favor unless you tell me what it is. And he's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so you just gotta accept that you're gonna do a favor for me later or not. And so that's actually like a real world. Like I'm not gonna tell you. Mm-hmm. Like we know, and yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. it's purposefully hidden information. Right. It's not just a hey, make a decision between heads or tails. Yes. <laughs> you have to make the decision. Do you want to accept this? willfully knowing that you don't get to know what it is ahead of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's the choice you're at. The real choice is, do you want to trust this guy or not? And yeah. Cause then it becomes like a, like a, a way for you to like, think about what you believe in, you know, and, and actually make a decision. Yeah. It turns Versus out that like, particular mission though, you don't have to do it. <laughs> Spoiler turns out, alert. Turns out there's a, there's a lot in that game that you don't have to do, which is yeah. kind of partially what I like about it. Like, there's a lot of kind of side crap. I mean, obviously the main missions, you have to do those, but... Well, um, yeah, but, like, when, even if you do get that mission, like, the ending, end result is, like, you don't necessarily have to do what he asks you to do. I don't know if you've gotten to that part yet. I have not. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Well, now you have. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that there's options. There's always options. Always options. <laughs> so many options. If you get into a situation, call me, and I will come get you. Got it. <laughs> All right. With my ointments. What? <laughs> <laughs> just it just so, sounded like it was getting into like a a parent talk is all. <laughs> you see, son. Even if you're drunk, there's options. Just call me and your mother. We'll yeah. come. We won't yell at you till the next day. Somebody offers you a joint. You have options. You can say yes or no. Or you could jump off this building and land safely with your augments. That's, that's always my. That's like always my because option. reality. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't gone back to. I haven't played Deus Ex in like the past week or so. I I've only played a little bit more Dark Souls. My few, few time to game far between uh, and Dark Souls, but yeah, I definitely been digging it, and I want to get back into it. Um, so. but No Man's Sky so, is still going. I'm yeah. actually kind of okay, happy no. to hear that there's at least some holdouts still playing this game and yeah. not joining in the, the Pitchfork mob. They're crushing it with the memes, though. Like, I saw one where they're like, <laughs> I went to Target and all the games are sold yeah, out, and then they I think it was just a picture of No Man's Sky is the last one left. Yeah, every game was sold out, but No Man's Sky. <laughs> so if you guys didn't notice, right outside the booth right here, uh, one of our members uh, picked up Mighty Number no. 9 yeah, <laughs> for the oh, Wii U. Oh, yeah. Got it out of the... Uh, the closeout discount bargain bin. <laughs> was, out like a that, I know. Is that that's a record? And he was just like, like, wow, like I have to buy this just because, <laughs> just because that's, I think that's a like land speed record to yeah. like the bargain basket by the register. It was almost like, <laughs> it was God, almost man. like new releases in the bargain bin. Like, yeah. How how wait, how much did he spend on it? I don't know. Ten dollars, like, not even from like was what than, forty that it started at. Yeah. No, it was less than that even. Well, God damn, yeah, it was crazy. That's a game. Somebody actually said, like, that's a perfect game. Like, that's a game meant to be streamed. Just because, like, the way, like, the glitches and, like, how goddamn good you need to be to actually play it properly. Like, it's a game you watch. You do oh, not play that game. Yeah. <laughs> you- yeah, I mean, 
I haven't. It's sitting right outside here, and I could go test this theory in like two minutes. But, <laughs> but that but would run, require run. you to do that. I'll try to, to to not have to walk out of this room and go back to work immediately, which I'm going, which you, I'm going to do. You um, have to so, actually play it. Yeah. Then. So uh, <laughs> that some people were talking about it last night, though. But the way that the mechanic of the game works is that it's all predicated on like dashing through enemies. So it's like Mega Man, where you shoot people. And then instead of them just blowing up or dying like every Mega Man ever, you have to, it just, it never kills them. Shooting them just puts them into like a fritzed out state. And then you have to dash through them to like finish them off and have, and make them permanently be done. And you get like a certain amount of energy for this or whatever. It's all very confusing. But there is like, you know, on paper that might sound like a cool thing where you have to actually like interact with them a little bit more and like dash the enemy to finish them off. It's like in practice, it's just endlessly frustrating because if you don't do it in a certain amount of time, they go back to full health. Like some of the bosses, even if, if you don't hit them when they're fritzed out and like dash through them, like you miss and you run out of time, they just go back to full health. And it just seems like it would just be really frustrating. Yeah, I expect unfun. every step of that game to just suck ass when I get <laughs> <laughs> after. The- there's also saying there's like a lot of times there's a whole bunch of enemies like in a row and you'll yeah. be shooting the first one. So. If you dash through them to finish them, you dash right into the enemy that's behind them, and it just hits you. Oh and it's like it's just yeah, frustrating stupid. as hell. Yeah. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> I just remember that like they they set that up once, tested it, and was like, eh, it doesn't really work. But let's uh, come back later, and then never yeah. did. I just remember that horrible trailer that somebody put on the slide. Yeah. But it was like that terrible fucking announcer. Oh man! Apparently, there's a lot of voiceover in the game. And it's not all excellent. <laughs> no. um, there's a game we can harp on all day alright so maybe we'll, we'll, go, we'll test that out and move it on but I, I am glad to hear that there's some holdouts in No Man's Sky I, it just makes me for whatever reason a little bit happy just because <laughs> I, mean, I, I said it way like a year before the game came out I was like oh man I feel bad for these guys and I still kind of do they were fucked from the get go yeah, I still kind of do feel the only bad. issue I have is there's like an update and I was like outside this planet like on the like right outside the atmosphere when I stopped playing and like saved or whatever and then started back up. And all of a sudden all the asteroids look different. What the fuck's this all about? And some of them like contain gold. So there's gold everywhere now. Ooh. But I, I, I pulled this dumbass move because I thought I was going to be clever. And <laughs> I walk in and there's this cool gun. And I was like, I want that gun, but I want like, um, I want all my upgrades. So like you can discard your upgrades, but you get all the materials that make them. So I was like, cool, I'll discard all my upgrades, and then I'll buy the gun, and then I'll rebuild them, and then I'll have them all, and a cooler gun. But it, like, I had died, like, right after I got, like, killed by something, and then I went back in to do it, because I thought I already had the gun, or I thought I had the old gun, but I still had the new gun, even though it was before I went in to buy the new one. So I discarded everything, not realizing it was the new gun. And then I'm like, oh shit, I already have this gun, and now I have nothing oh, for it. That's... <laughs> so I already I'm, have I'm this, and now I'm yeah. poor. It's like when you sell something in an RPG, you accidentally sell the weapon you're using, and you're like, oh, oh that's shit. Like, oh, I and have then you gotta buy it back, uh, and then you're like, at ten times the it, price. Ten t- yeah, you're <laughs> like, the problem oh, is, is like one of the I main materials for your, to, for your upgrades is aluminum, and now all of a sudden all the aluminum's is gone. I've gone to like three galaxies, and there's nothing. I'm like, that's gonna suck. It's called balance. It's not balanced. It's <laughs> That's the whole you broke now. your finger so you chopped off your hand thing. Yeah. Like, I'm like cruising through, like blowing up asteroids. Half the like the big asteroids that are supposed to have cool shit. They're big like asteroids. All, they're all iron now. It. I'm like, what the fuck? Iron? What want, the fuck? I don't want iron. <laughs> Iron's useless. You trip over <laughs> iron. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why would you want that? <laughs> Let me go to space for this thing I found in that rock over there. Right? <laughs> But I mean, now I'm finding planets that are like better. Really looking. instant, like indignation. Just like how, what? How? How rough? How rough? I'm almost surprised you didn't stand up. Like, uh, flip the table. Yeah. I won't stand for this. <laughs> God damn it! That was like the only way you can get fucking shit was in the asteroids, like the good I'm stuff. Oh no! I mean, it's like iridium. It's that there's no emerald up there anymore. It's copper rarely. Oh god! That was the only place to get copper. I know. That's the other issue I had was finding copper. I went to like five different planets and finally found it floating. And then I gotta like get out. <laughs> that just makes. Why can't, why that can't just... I mine it from the ship? These are these big ass rocks. I can do it in space. Why can't I do it on the planet? I can shoot just... it. And sometimes it works. And sometimes it that just makes that it's game wrong. that was tedious already fucking more tedious. Right. Uh. I'm waiting for like a year from now when 
maybe they get their shit together a little bit and it's kind of fun. I mean, I like looking at it, I guess. But, you know, I can look at it for so long and then... It just got boring. But the, <laughs> it's the way it was, it's there, but it's, oh, I gotta get out. <laughs> yeah. like, just, and I can do it like four times and then I gotta find plutonium to get my launch thrusters back up. It's like, come on. I know, right? The future's gonna uh, suck if it's anything like that. Why can't it just be like a thing where it tells you exactly what it is? Like, the scanner works... Yeah, what is for about work five in space? feet, and but it's just like. <sighs> <laughs> if well, you can't see it, these guys are very sad now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to play that game anymore. Now that just ah, you know you don't like, have to. <laughs> I know, but I bought they it. Changed it now. You don't have to. But I just like I wanted to like I wanted to like it, and I did enjoy it. But it just it feels like so much work sometimes, or it's like to the point where like you have to like. It's not just like you get out and search and like move around. It's like, holy fuck, because the things are so goddamn big and you don't know exactly what things are at a distance because say you have a rock and you're on like a Mars type planet. So like a red uh-huh. planet. So it's a red fuck rock. It's a red you, fuck rock. Yeah. Like a rock you fuck? You don't. All right, kn- guys, you don't have to. You don't have to play blue here. Exactly. <laughs> well, but you don't know what's going to be in that rock <laughs> until you walk up to it. So if you're looking for something, you don't know what it's going to be until you at least get close enough to scan it or you get close enough to actually mine the thing. So you say you're looking for, I don't know, for shits and giggles, copper. And you're trying to build something, whatever, and you're looking for fucking copper. You go out to that rock to look for copper. Oh, it's iron. So is that rock over there, but I have to walk a goddamn mile and have to get to it. it. Used to be you just go into space and that's where you found the copper. And you found space. you found iron on the ground, and you like, can't buy those ones. Either. No, you can't buy the copper. common you can't shit. Buy aluminum. You can't buy like the so like the, it just it was clean. Ones. It was like you find this here and you find this here, and it was like also there's like this weird cap thing I ran into. I had to buy like I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Heridium. Heridium sounds right. I think that's in Mass Effect. But it's like Heridium. I needed like wow. fifty six or something, <laughs> and I bought forty two off the ships coming into the space shuttle. And then everybody who came in after that, it said they had none. And I'm like, now I have to leave the space station, go to a planet, find it on that planet, come back to the space station, get out. You gotta get, get out. out of my <laughs> ship. I gotta get out of my ship. I gotta stand up, walk around. Should be like Wally, where I'm just this fat slob in this like little floaty chair. <laughs> yeah. I just push buttons and blow up shit and get all the resources and fly back. I mean, that's the end game. You're just not there yet. I should send another ship to go for me and come back. <laughs> <laughs> at my own space station. That that's Max. He said, I did enjoy it up to a point. That game is good in dosages. Yeah. Like once you hit a certain point, it feels like you're filing TPS reports. <laughs> like it just gets yeah i mean the whole like the the, the the gathering crafting system just to me was like they had a game about exploring and then somebody maybe they were like well you gotta have more of a game in here so well you know just put a crap people like crafting let's put a crafting i system did not in. know there was gonna be that much of it yeah like i knew there was right. gonna be some like kind of keep your ship in or stuff like that that was cool but like god damn I mean, I get that they wanted people to engage with the environment, right? Like, that makes you kind of, like, go check out those rocks and stuff that you... Otherwise, you wouldn't bother. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't even look at them twice if, if they didn't have a reason to do that. But maybe it didn't have to be so much and take so long. I think, especially with modern players, I'll say, that just have a tendency to binge, that they were scared that somebody's just going to, like do everything in the game in like the first two days that they kind of just like time gated it a little bit too hard for the people that did want to just like play around and like check out new solar systems and stuff maybe it shouldn't take five hours of mining to jump to the next system right maybe it should just be like once you've gone once you've checked out this the you know once you've actually landed on each planet in the system or whatever then you can move on and just fly away and go check out something new you know and that's like my thing though i roll into a new system i ran on each planet for like five seconds see what's on it and then i'm like this planet looks like a butthole so i'm out of there yeah so the one that's good i walk around for like 25 minutes i'm like okay yeah and once you've done that if if that's all it takes if it only takes like a half hour to get enough resources to get to the next system then maybe that's fine it's a fucked up time limit though for a star system like you shouldn't like roll through like 
a solar system in 30 minutes and be like, all right, this place sucks. Let's go On to the, the flip next side one. Of that, <laughs> well, if you're generating, you know, 18 quintillion star systems, because then, like, we if can, it was real life, then we wouldn't hang gold. out in a new yeah. solar system for half an hour. Be like, well, it's not only that they can't only be gold, but if, if you're, if you one of yeah, your killer, if right one of your now. killer features is basically an expansive set of content, then you don't need to worry about people like having to get every last drip of viewpoint out of a given solar system. Yeah. If they if they show up there and like, nah, this one stinks, but I don't have enough fuel or whatever the hell it makes you do in the game to get to the next system, so I have to sit here and mine and like grind to get my oh, next God. ship. It's not too jump. bad now. Like I've been fuel I've been cells. opening like. Uh, oh. I've been opening those debris things, and then I pick up like antimatter all the time. That's where th- once you got that, the game got a lot better. But until then, oh my god, to <laughs> fill up a fucking fuel cell. Somebody in this podcast I was listening to made this really good point, though. They were talking about like the ecosystems on the planet. Yeah, and they were playing this other game. I can't think of what the hell it's called. It's basically an undersea like Subnautica, ex- maybe Bioshock float around under the water and look at fish yeah something. i think that's it yeah and they're like all the animals like actually shark. interact with each other and stuff and yeah. you look at the trailer for no man's sky and there's like a big rhino thing and he cruises through and all the deer thing run away that doesn't happen <laughs> they're all just yeah. fucking running well, around there's shitty yeah. walk cycles just sliding around each other <laughs> yeah. i'm like i want to watch one kill another one and then be like okay he's yeah, that'd badass be cool. the animals yeah. don't interact with anything other than you i have noticed yeah and, and all they the do crabs. is either run away from you or bite you if they look like a crab they're gonna <laughs> kick your ass just like really they look like a crab they're gonna kick your ass yeah. it's only things I've seen attack me and this like thing that looked like this like bodybuilder Pikachu <laughs> it's hilarious I don't it's know what, I haven't seen that but I, I sent it to you I sent it to you on oh, Snapchat oh you did you I wanna did. see this I got now. off my ship I don't know why I do but I do yeah, I got I'm off curious. my ship and I walked like two feet and it says like it's got the little enemy icon I'm like looking around this like Pikachu looking He's like stacked and he just like walks out of a bush. Pika, pika. I was like, what the fuck is this thing? He just walks over and just slaps me. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. There are, that's, it's, there's good moments like that in there. Uh, but like, the, I picture that whole interaction of like you like landing on this contact. foreign planet and like popping out and like looking around like, ooh. <laughs> and like the rustling in the bushes. You're like, what's this? And this thing just like steps out and you're like, huh? <laughs> Walks up and just slaps you. <laughs> and it's just like staring at you seriously. And you're just like, like I'm going to go your, back to my ship. Your ship that leave. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was like the only creature I think I ever named. I named it Pikachu and then I just left. It's like, fuck this. Place. I remember. He's mean. Did you name a species or just a single one? A species. Yeah. I don't. They have like this thing. Like I show up to the um, oh, they call those little trading yeah. post robots. You could turn it's a little on. floating hal eyeball thing, and you just talk to it, and it gives you your stats. And they want me to scan the flora. I'm like, I don't care about plants. <laughs> I did it accidentally a couple plants. times. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> just looking around, and all you have to do through your binoculars, and like if it's on it long enough, it'll scan it. So I was just looking at like more rocks to fucking turn into iron. It's just like <laughs> scan. Like what? Oh, what a dumb mechanic! It's, you just like existing, not gonna accomplishes things. No. That's not a great. You trip, you like, and then you can turn it in for money. So it's just like I, I guess like it's, but it's like chump change. I and mean, like the if end, there's so like some like, guy playing it and he needs to like feed his inner botanist, maybe, but yeah. it's like three people. Like that's where the whole like exploring thing shit. comes in. Like you can do the same thing for animals too. But it's just like it's there. Like a lot of things in that game. It feels like there's three different games stapled together really shittily. Right. Yeah. And like that's what happened. And unfortunately a lot of the time they like just butt heads with each other. Like when I got I want to get a new ship. So I went to a spot and I looked for a crash ship. Like you can go to this basically scanner area and you can get three options. You can get like an alien artifact, obelisk or or a training post or a potentially crash ship. And it'll just, bloop, send out a scanner, and it'll point you in that direction. It's cool. Make my way over there, sit down, and over the course of four and a half fucking hours, I fix this goddamn ship. Four and a half hours? Four and a half hours. Because then... all this, because when it's down there, you need to fix it. And, yeah. like, make it so that you can at least get off the planet. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think I sent you another Snapchat of uh, the ship that rolls into the uh, the space station. Nineteen million dollar ship. Yeah, I've seen that one. I don't one. think with oh, everything I've sold and made, I don't think I've even come close. Is that another player? No, no the, you can buy ships off of AIs too. Nineteen million dollars. Yeah, it's got like thirty five slots. I was like, damn. <laughs> like, that's the <laughs> end goal. That. 
But oh my god, <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. But it sounds like I should be impressed. Because you have like you have like <laughs> yeah, right? slots, and basically you use like maybe fifteen of them for ship upgrades, and the rest just hold random like elements and stuff. Uh huh. But I mean, when you start, they, you get like ten. The yeah. way they do slots so in that inventory in that upgrade. game is fucking annoying too. Yeah. Like your ship takes up most of your inventory space for the things you need to use to run your goddamn That's ship. Stupid. Like that yeah. should be a separate area. And not fucking with, like, if I'm, like, say, carrying a whole bunch of supplies over, I shouldn't need to push over my fucking blaster cannon so I can make room for more rocks on my spaceship. <laughs> like, that that doesn't seem right. <laughs> that's just, that's yeah, just, I mean, I kind of see what you're saying there. And like, if... it, I don't mind that choice if it's meaningful. It sounds it's, like it's just, like, a limit be limiting not because it's in i mean i don't know how they limit. put it in your inventory yeah i agree with you there like if it's a thing that you would have to like make that choice at a certain point where yeah like maybe let, you, maybe you need a little bit more space yeah. to get some stuff off here and to do that you'd have to scrap your blasters right and make it back to like sell all your crap or get back to home like without getting a fight now you can't defend yourself yeah and that's a interesting choice to have to make right. but, but if it's already taken up but that could be a completely separate option where it's like a different tab over is like scrap your blasters to free up three inventory slots, you know, and it doesn't take up one of the initial ones. You know, it's more just like well, you want to expand your inventory. It's also a clutter thing like, you know, like Dark Souls. Like, <laughs> say you get a new ship and it has it'll advertise we have 15 slots on here for you to put your stuff. Yeah. Problem is six of those slots are already taken up by whatever blah 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 is on the ship and you can't take that shit off like but, it's not like you can remove oh, it really it's plastered on there Why would but they that it slot? says you got 15 slots yeah. no i have <laughs> nine like, do you know what how many slots you lose before you get it no you can't you actually buy see it and the then ship. you're like oh it looks like this one and takes then, all the slots so then right. you look into it and it's like I, I got nine slots now i have like one maybe more and i spent that's why I always look for ships because so I could, don't want to spend anything. You could that. buy a ship with more slots, but actually end up actually with less slots. Yes, you can do that for equipment too. Mm. It, it's just like it's like buying an old cell phone. It's like ten gig card, six and a half gigs taken up by OS. Yeah, you're, crap. You're, you're entirely right. right. <laughs> <laughs> There's this other part that really kind of was heartbreaking. Have you gotten to the like you level have- five Sentinel attack? Dude, I have. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto mechanic. Like the more shit you fuck with, like, right? You got like the stars. Yeah, Kendall was telling me like if you try to open a door that's locked and they yeah. see you because apparently the Sentinels are everywhere. Literally. Oh yeah. Oh, I got like, a fucking thing about that. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you get to level five and they have this like fucking gunship that comes in with like six turrets on each side. That sounds awesome, actually. It is, and you, like <laughs> it Until takes it like everything you. you got to blow it up, and then when you finally do, it just disappears. No, uh, there's no explosion. There's no like satisfying. Oh. I killed this thing. Just <laughs> that's the worst. That kind of like, sucks. I'm like, did I kill it? Did it? <laughs> that's anticlimactic. Did it glitch? They yeah. it, did it glitch out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did it warp away? What yeah. happened? Yeah, that's yeah, it just, it just poops away. It does huh. like that's oh. kind of shitty. And you don't get anything. What? There's not even like loot. at least the little ones you can get like yeah, you some get those stuff. like uh, dimensional matrix that's things. Yeah. You can sell it. Yeah, that's such a basic bad game design choice that I, re- I don't even understand. I remember when I was exists. doing that four and a half hour slugfest through the shithole to fix that fucking that's shit. A, I, I feel like that's a null reference exception in the debug log. <laughs> 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 I feel like they had this big wild explosion planned and it didn't make it into the build. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Like, forgot to turn it, it back threw on an exception that. under there. It's like, you know, object not found. Yeah. Explosion <laughs> string thing going on and it like pushes yeah. you back or something. Or it yeah, like, it just, because it, it just, it destroyed the object and then it didn't spawn like any particles or explosions. Right. Like if you load up your game and you were able to right. like look at it on PC, it'd be like, just load up the debug log and it's just like, just crashing errors all over. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> like, damn it, Steve, you forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> but while I was going through that, like some certain plants have higher security ratings for the Sentinels, which if you break a rock, the Sentinels are like, like, yeah. for, like that's kind of like, why do you care about this rock? Like, and the, is it literally that would react yeah, to rocks? If you destroy anything, if you break down yeah, a tree got, like, for level, like Sentinels, they're just it's like so on this wrong in the 
So on this planet, what the f- I'm going. The half the reason it took four and a half fucking hours is a <laughs> I couldn't get all the shit, but b it was a high security planet, which means walking around trying to fix this ship, I would have literally every forty five sentence a second sentence, a sentinel would just fly by and just be like, <sighs> wait for it to explode. It explodes. Does it explode or does it? it those actually <laughs> like kind of pop and you can pick up pieces. Okay. But so all okay, right. There goes more fuel for my my fucking caster, so right. now I can't use that fuel for my fucking ship. So I have to go find more shit. Oh, here comes another one. But and it's not even a hard fight. It's just fucking annoying. What's crazy is in the like fiction of this world, these guys apparently have colonized every single planet in the... Pretty much, yeah. Massive yeah. Or at least universe. in some have way. Have any planet with the Gravino balls? Mm, yeah. And yeah. if you pick one up, you like everything up, they comes send on the you. High, the like the high class ones. They got like there's this, some dumb sci-fi movie I saw, and they had this like robot cat thing that went with the asteroid or the astronauts to Mars. Yeah, and that's exactly what they are. But they're like they always get stuck on shit. For yeah, some they do. They fall in holes. So I'll start shit, firing great. grenades at them, and I'll just bury them in a hole and just leave I them even there. I've equipped a grenade <laughs> ever. The grenades are nice because you can just dig holes. Gangster. Like you get stuck in the uh, the caves, and you just drill a hole up to the top and fly out. That is kind of nice. I will do that then. Because there was a cave I was in where I was I stuck in there forever. It was pretty low. But, no. Speaking of that four and a half hour slug, I was on one of those planets. So I was like, ooh, what's this thing? Boom! <laughs> like, god damn it! Like, oh, that that was bad. <laughs> uh, well, no Man's I Sky, love that game. everybody. I love it. That's my favorite Zulu, game. you both love it. And every time I you guys bring it up, you're talking about, like, New species, more mechanics, like other things that I didn't even know were in the game, and yeah. then we still like, they like nothing kinda... to do. But there's, but then there's this other thing. That <laughs> yeah. It's, it's slowly... like there's a lot going yeah. on they, here. They pop in, but again, it's like they're all stapled on to like this basic exploration. Game, I totally understand, which is what, what I thought. Yeah. I, I get, and I, and I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, especially if you're trying to do something like that, it's like, why are you monitoring me? Why do you care if I cut down this tree? I'm trying yeah. to survive on this hostile planet. I'm on like Bastard. especially this, like it takes a lot of resources apparently so there's a lot of opportunity for these guys to get pissed at you and it sounds really frustrating. It's it it that's that whole game is just frustration. <laughs> well, I'm still gonna play it. Probably. I, I noticed I, a, a thing in the the new update also that oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, great! They put fucking iron in the molten core of Earth. No, or something. the oh. storms are actually storms. There's now. something down there. Because oh. sometimes it would just <laughs> pop up and be like, "There's a storm coming," and it would look exactly the same. Uh, oh, really? They right. actually. Just... But you can see them coming now. Yeah, like I was on one planet and like it said it was storming, and then all of a sudden it was like a sandstorm, and I couldn't like. The see storms anything. are pretty cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I like how like you'll Some actually. Of them, it's just like every fifteen minutes, I'm like, "What the fuck am I?" The hot, the volatile <laughs> planets. Yeah. So, total vo- switch thing, but the beginning of Deus Ex in the played out area. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the, go back to dark uh, but the uh, the dust storm that they kick up in the distance is it looks super cool. It does. Like it looks super. When it actually hits, it's not as impressive. But like when it it's coming and getting close, it looks it looks super, ominous really, as fuck. And it looks really cool in yeah. a distance. And like as you're playing the level, it gets a little bit closer and a little bit closer as you see it coming. And when it actually hits, it's just a lot of particles. It's, a it's like whatever. But yeah. it's but, uh, <laughs> it's a good metaphor for that game. <laughs> right. Well, I think we need to shut this thing down. I John? played Journey for five minutes. I played Battlefront Well, why don't trailer. you play it for five more? We'll talk about it next week. Well, yeah. What's up with Battlefront? Trailer. There's a new one? For the Death Star, like they actually put out Chewbacca the actual DLC. Like so wait, hold on. So the Death Star is going to be in Battlefront? It looks so fucking good. Except how, 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 wait, do you get to fly it? Okay. Star Wars fly games are Star? never bad when they come out. So can... you guys should definitely get really excited about this. Cause yeah, they're... except for the game that it was actually based off of. But besides the point... <laughs> I take that back. It wasn't bad, but it was a little scary. Well, my point is they're almost always bad. Yeah. Except for Jedi Knight Academy 2. But. <laughs> and Pod Racer and. Pod and Racer Battlefront 2. Uh, anyway. Squadron. Yeah, well, for and every one you name, there's like four that suck. 45, so, yeah. more. Okay. Yeah, most of the Rogue Squadrons, Rebel Assault was pretty dope back First in the day. Squadron. X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, pretty phenomenal. Space Flight Sim. But yeah, I still, point stands, there's still a ton of garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um. So the the point is that a there's a Death Star like they announced it, but the thing is they're like every other DLC pack they've come out with a new game mode for basically catered to that DLC, and this one's called Battle Station, and it's a three hit my mic three parts. So the first part is 
a space battle in the distance of the Death Star, fighting in and out of like the battle cruisers. You're trying to fight your way to the Death Star. So this is an open space battle, open space vehicle battle, to vehicle, open space everything. battle. But one of the things that everybody's like, why isn't this in Was the base game? Bitching and moaning about, yeah. yeah. So fight through to that round two. You're in the Death Star ground combat. So the Death Star is basically your floor of your standard kind of arena that the game yeah. takes place in. And, yeah. yeah. Like, so, like, fighting through there, there's new heroes. The lizard thing from Empire Strikes Back who's on screen for, like, 45 seconds. And then Bosk? Chewbacca. Yeah, Bosk. Um, because they... Chewie's like, in there now? Chewie's the new yeah, hero Chewie for the Rebel. Like shit. Does Chewie, Chewie flies the Falcon? Yeah. 3D no, standpoint? he's, like, a ground character. He's a new hero. Oh, so it actually takes place like on. So does it take place inside the Death inside Star? Inside the Death Star. Oh, okay, so when you said the ground before, I thought I was picturing like uh, Rogue Squadron like flying over no, the, the Death no, Star. No, not like yeah. th- not for round two. Okay, round two, you actually have to escort R two D two in to disable the su- shield generator. So round three can happen where it's a trench run. And I think I may or may not have pooped myself a little bit <laughs> when I saw that. And the, weird reaction. the new hero is Darth Vader and his TIE fighter for the Empire, and it's Luke's and his Red Squadron X Wing. Motherfucking Rogue Five? Red Five? Red Five. All right. Standing by. Chewie looks like shit. Chewie kind right of now. looks <laughs> like Cousin It, but I, I'll I wouldn't have released him looking like that. <laughs> How do you guys know what Cousin It looks like? That's a reference from like 1960. They have like, like 45 <laughs> more oh, movies no. that came out. He looks that. like Grimace uh, fell in a sewer. Kind of. It's awful. But it's just like, man, like combining all that Shame together for like one game, like where you can just go one or the other. And it I all do ties like it. the idea of the different phases. I don't know if does the all three phases happen no matter what, or is it? I'm like, assuming like if you don't disable the shields, like the empire wins and yeah, it's over. Like probably you know. like I mean, and but, either that or it's just harder maybe for so, the next round. I don't know. It's super cool to hear that they added that to this game. That does actually sound like it addresses some of the things that people were saying, like, why isn't this here in the it beginning? It made me want to play that game again. I will, I will add it with the fact that I just can't get psyched about doing a Death Star Trench Run anymore, because I've done it a thousand million times. I think almost every Star Wars game since 1985 has had a Death Star Trench Run in it, and I've done it in every different way, shape, or form, up <laughs> to and including making my own. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I just can't get but, hyped hey, for it anymore. But, there's another one now. And, it, and mine was in VR. And it's new. <laughs> oh, it's just like the fact that like it all ties in together and like it culminates in like that epic moment. It's just like, oh, like that's, <laughs> that sounds awesome. No, it does sound cool. I mean, I hope that it's good. Maybe it'll make me turn that game on again because I haven't mm-hmm. played it in months. Pretty much. All right, cool. I have to. Yeah, no, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Let's get the fuck out. So, thanks for joining Lots us today. Lots of swearing today. <laughs> That's because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of you are just like generally angry at No Man's Sky. <laughs> and then also I, other stuff. It's like that one child <laughs> that you love. know can do so much good. You've got so much potential. Can't, or just refuses to do Why it. Why don't you try? Yeah. I'm going uh, to write Sean Maria a letter. Very sternly worded. Tell him how I feel. <laughs> Get your shit together. We'll read it on the podcast. Dear we sir, <laughs> hope your day is going well. <laughs> I was playing your game program the and other it day. Made me upset. <laughs> program. Uh, you can check us out online, buffalogamespace.com. Hit us up on Twitter at, Do it. at Buff Game Space. Do Email us with questions, info at buffalogamespace.com. Stalk us personally. Mm, don't do that. <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> Stalk. Stalk is, that, is that stalking if you want it? No. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is that just role play? That's how I feel about uh. it. The full gamut. No, maybe, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no. <laughs> All, right. All right. Bye. Good evening. <laughs>